So how I dealt with our breakup. I have to tell you that you have to find a new person. Hi guys! Hi. Welcome back to my channel and today we are in New York City. Hey. 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 Hey, if you clicked on this video right now, we might help you with some life or relationship advice. That you need. If you clicked on this video, I know you need some sort of advice because everyone in the world just needs to hear some advice or listen to other people's advice. So I asked you guys on my Instagram story if you guys need some relationship and life advice and you guys gave me plenty, so we're going to be giving you guys relationship advice today. And make sure you guys follow my Instagram to be featured in one of our next videos and follow Simone too. Thanks. Let's get into giving you guys advice because there's a lot of them, so let's go. All right, so throughout the video, the advice questions are gonna get more and more and more juicy, so make sure you stay all the way till the of end. Of course it has to be juicy because well, it you're has involved. To. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna start out with kind of an easy, simple one. Someone said, how to become an influencer. And I feel like we've talked about this a lot, so we're just gonna like briefly yeah. talk about it so you can go first. Oh, me? Um, <laughs> just say to post um, consistently. You want to post a lot, but you don't want to just post content. To post content, you want to make sure it's good quality content. Then a year or two or three, you'll be proud of looking back on it. You want to make content that you love and enjoy because once you become successful and popular, that's what you're going to be known for and that's what you're going to do for a living. A so very long time. you're going to want to make sure that you love it forever. Yeah, that's good. How do I tell my parents I don't want to go to college when they think it's so important? All right, so here we are, the college topic. This is kind of awkward for us, but <laughs> as you guys know, I, well, I did a few college classes, but I kind of stopped doing them and would pick them up at a later time just because I have so much going on in my life and career right now that college would take up all that time, and college is always there. I can go to it when I'm 25, I can go to it when I'm 40, if I really want to, but you want to make life. sure you're focused on it and yeah. not sidetracked by other things. Yeah, I think that you have to prove it to them. That's the biggest thing. But guys, we are not saying college is not important. College yeah, is very, very, very important. very important. Education is one of the most important things in the world. And like, it's very rare to find a job that doesn't involve college. But right. if that's your passion and you're that percentage, then you're going to have to figure it out and we're here to help you. So that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Next one says, how to be confident when you're very self-conscious. And I got a lot of these advice questions on how to be confident, you're feeling self-conscious, you're feeling down about yourself. So, here we are. Hi. So not everyone's like confident in what they look like, or just confident in general, like 24-7. Like even me, like it happens to me like all the time. And I would just say like, first of all, just like wear things that you love that is like comfy and just makes you feel good about yourself because if I'm wearing a cute outfit, even though I sometimes don't like the way I look, I just like still feel cute that day because I like the outfit. So I would say definitely wear stuff that you love because that just always makes you feel better. Just do yourself up a little bit and you'll just always feel better about yourself. Well, I think that confidence comes from a positive mindset. Keep doing positive things, do things that you love. If you want to work out that day, the one thing that you should not do is just stay laying in bed, guys. That's probably the worst thing to do if you're ever feeling down about yourself because trust me, we've been there. Just get out of bed. If you're watching this in bed, Stay for like 10 more minutes and then get out of bed. Go make yourself some food. Go make yourself some breakfast. Go work out. Go walk around the block. Just do something fun. Get a positive mindset. Listen to music. I don't know, guys. If you're in that mindset right now while watching that, just get up. Do something. I just we are here to tell you, go do something that you love. Get up. Work out. Go make yourself some food right now and we'll be super proud of you if you yeah. do. This one is kind of another simple one. We're going to get into the juicy ones. Just hold on. It says, I have the worst fashion sense like horrible and I don't even know what style I like where do I start and how do I figure out what's for me okay this is kind of a confusing question because I feel like there's no specific style that's like good looking I feel like people right. think there's like one style and that's what's in right now style it comes from what you like just go to the store pick out things that you love and if you think it's ugly or not in fashion it probably is gonna be in fashion in about like a year or so because yeah. fashion just is like a revolving door of crazy things so if you like something just stick with it and like wear it even if it's considered ugly because I promise you it's not I would just try out like a few different things like you can go on like Pinterest or Google and like just Google a few styles that I find interesting and maybe put together some outfits. Even if you guys have like a favorite creator, a lot of creators tag the brands where their outfits are from and everything. Guys, now it is the start of these juicy questions. Let's get into it. Okay. When you mess up and want another chance, is it possible to get one? 
And I don't even think we're the right people to ask yeah. if it's like for your own situation. But I would say just prove it to them that you deserve another chance. Don't just ask for it. I mean, it depends how badly you messed up because if you messed up pretty bad, I'm sorry, but you're probably not going to get another chance. But yeah, there's always like second chances and that kind of stuff, which sometimes for me have been great, but sometimes they've been even worse. So. All right, this one, I have a solid answer to. It says, how to get a boy to like you when he leaves you undelivered for two weeks. Please help me, Lydia. Why? I'm so sorry. He doesn't, like, he doesn't. I don't think he likes you. You just exposed her name. I have to tell you that you have to find a new person. Well, what if he just, like, got his phone taken away? Well, if he got his phone taken away, that's understandable. But also, if he's getting his phone taken for two weeks, he probably has, like, something, sure. something is probably off. I don't know. I promise you, just, just find someone else. And just well, don't let him she play never you said that he. See, I always try to find the good side. She never said that he was ignoring her. Like, what if, like, she doesn't know that he's like active on Snapchat and ignoring her? Because the only way to really see is if you watch their snap score or if they're low. Or well, if you have the all right. The next one says, going through feeling like you're not good enough, and surprisingly, there were a lot, a lot, a lot of these questions for advice and we just want to say that i promise you that you are good enough no one standing on this earth isn't good enough in our eyes and we are so proud of you for how far that you came and all the things that you've done in life just think about your life and think about all the positive things that you've done all the positive people that you met and we love you so much we love you so now it's time to get into the two juiciest advice questions of the day or night if you're watching this at night it's kind of awkward because People might know our life and our situations, but oh God. it says how to get over an ex. And a lot of people ask this. A lot of people need advice. So we are going to put you first and not ourselves and answer these questions even though it's super awkward. Okay. So I've seen this all over TikTok, which honestly, I just think is so funny. But it's been like recently that I've seen it, but just like thinking back to it, I'm like, oh my God, wait, they're right. Um, if I ever needed to get over someone, which I don't, but they were like, just give yourself the ick. <laughs> just like be like, think about it and then just be like. Ew. I always saw those TikToks, but then like everyone in the comments is like, Everything I think about isn't an ick, and now everything that I thought was an ick isn't an ick anymore. A lot of people got worse from those TikToks. So that's bad advice. I'd say not. Don't say my advice is bad. I would just remember why they are an ex and why they are in your past because they are there for a reason. Don't take second chances and don't like make yourself overthink, be like, oh my god, I should have stayed with them. No. no. They're your ex for a reason. Alright, the last and final question is how to deal with a breakup. And you guys know. We've been through it on the internet before and all that stuff. So you guys know that we've been through it and you guys probably have too. So glad we can relate, guys. Yeah. Pretty fun. So who should go first? You. Me? Yeah. So from past experiences, I know that you should just put yourself first. Don't think about them. Hang out with your friends. Take yourself to your favorite dinner spot. Go for a walk. Play with your dog. Honestly, if you have a yeah. dog, like play with your dog. Eat all of your favorite foods. Um, I hope you guys are writing this down because just like just fill your day up with these things I'm listing you Play video games if you like video games do any of your hobbies that you love to do go Painting just do anything to get your mind off of it. Like, That's random. Just go painting or something with your friends guys Just do anything that you guys love to do and remember why you love yourself and don't need anyone else So how I dealt with our breakup It was kind of like a lot going on at once because obviously you guys like knew the situation that I was in and you guys saw what happened afterwards and like all of that combined um I was feeling like all the emotions I would say I was feeling like sad a little bit because you know that's always something to feel but then I was also feeling a little bit like confused and like not really knowing what was happening I guess when I wasn't paying attention so what happened was that we kind of like sat down and like went over some things that we were like confused about or had like feelings about like certain situations that kind of stuff and then after that I feel like that was kind of like 
like okay like the chapter is closed like that's what happened and now I can move on so clarity and some closure is always like the best but obviously every situation is different everything happens for a reason because once like Nick came into my life at the perfect time and made me feel so much better and he was just always there for me so I would say yeah like everything happens for a reason just wait your turn and now mm, my friends are in a happy relationship and we're in a happy relationship and now we all hang out and it's just super fun so that concludes this video thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end if you're watching right now you are a real one and make sure you like subscribe and, and turn, turn on, on those, those post notifications, notifications. <coughs> my God. and comment down below if you want a part two if you guys want another part two if you guys are struggling with something and want our advice let us know because we like giving you guys advice yeah. but if you guys don't like it we'll stop Make sure you guys catch up on all of our recent videos. We just bought a house. We have stalker updates yes. and all that stuff. So head over there after this video. And if you're going through any mental problems or anything, get up and do something fun with your life today. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.